This is an actual science. There's no way. It's like, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I got debated for a for an hour. Almost killed you. A great way to farm corrupted shards. First things first, be on Apocalypse, get the Great Hall with the flames injectable, and have it be on the first floor. Pretty simple, he said reluctantly. So in my case, I rerolled the Awakened King adventure mode until I got this injectable, and I cheated using the World Analyzer. If you're on PC, you can get this. If you're on console, ask a PC friend or make a PC friend and have them do it for you. And then we're going to go ahead and run through it. You can simply fight the first boss and run the castle, or you can skip the first boss using Misty Step. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and change out my amulet for Red Dose Sigil. I think Ravager's Mark also works. And equip the Misty Ring. I shouldn't die, so I'll unequip that right now. Or equip the uh, Ring of Omens. And now we have Misty Dodge, which you want to trigger the Misty Dodge first at least once, and that way the game recognizes, like, oh, this guy is doing some crazy nonsense. Cool. I'm gonna run past the boss guy right here and climb that ladder and then jump on that ledge right there. Yep. I didn't put on my deodorant. I'm every freaking Twitch Twitch uh, con enjoyer. That looks intended. Oh, ain't no, ain't no way. Okay, listen. You're supposed to hug the corner better than I did, I guess. On Forge. Okay, I'll get the corner. Nice. And then we can go ahead and wrestle the crystal and de-aggro this, because this music will keep playing the entire time unless you wrestle the crystal. When you walk into the castle from the Forlorn Coast, the Great Hall is in that very first floor as well. I'm making a video for your game to get more players and more views, please. It's a win-win for both of us. Faster! Quickly! Nice. So once you're in here, it's just this, the side room. That's right here if you have great hall this is where it's going to be i've confirmed this is the right layout i believe and so what i'm doing right here is clearing out most of the mobs if not all the mobs keeping one blue guy alive that guy's blue he's alive huge and then i'm gonna go ahead and clear out these dudes and not die to behind me it might be wise to equip the black cat band just so you don't die and or rare tank your build that i'm wearing you don't need to hide damage this necessarily What you can do here, if it would let me, is jump off this when he's behind you, walk down, and now he'll keep attacking you, staying in combat, but he can't hit you. Learned that from, I believe, Zorg on the young YouTube stream, which Zorg explained all this to me, although it took me a long time to learn. I'm a slow learner, I guess. And he, I also got help from Bright. Bright showed me what it looked like. Oh my god, it works. Don't die. Am I dying? I don't want to die. Huge. And he's still alive. Huge. Huge! So that's a corrupt shard. I've maxed out so I can't carry it, but... Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, you may want to run a tankier build than what I have here. Oh, okay, I messed up. What even is this? The most messed up tile set possible. It's fine. It's pretty consistent, dude. Mythic recoil, bottom feeder. Is it multiple? That's confusing, but <laughs> kill switch. You tell me there's one I haven't gotten yet. Switching to this weapon creates an explosive burst, which deals 50 damage to all enemies. It can only happen once every time. This weapon kills with an explosive damage, reduce kill switch cooldown by one second. How many blue guys do we have active right now? Multiple. It's, it's insane. 
It's like we lost a Volatile Tile Set. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe that was an actual lie. Don't listen to me. It is currently 11.30. I got a lift. But, yeah. Strategy. You need to get Great Hall with a Flame Injectable on the first floor. Get one blue guy. Clear everything else. Get one blue guy. Keep him alive for a little bit. And hopefully get an Aberration. If you do, awesome. If you don't, keep drawing. Because in my case, this is the best way I've seen to do it so far. I've tried the Root Nexus. I haven't tried the thing in Nerud. So I think it's a good way. It's a good method. Shout out to Zorg and shout out to Bright. Thank y'all for the help. Appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. Anywho, thank y'all for watching. Have a good day. Hopefully they buff the Corrupt Shard spawns so this isn't necessary because yikes. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.